Hey guys, what's up? It's Tim again. Uh, just another thing I want to talk about is uh, why Image Comics and how does it work? Uh, so Image Comics was a company, its comic company was founded in 1992 by seven elite comic book artists who had left Marvel. Uh, there's plenty to that story and you can find that elsewhere. And of course they'll talk about the conflicts and the big personalities and the big guns and the big boobs. And I love that stuff, but I don't want to talk about that. What I want to talk about is how image works and why image comics is important. So uh, a little uh, assessment of how this usually works is in other mediums when you create something, generally speaking for a company, the company owns it. So example, John Carpenter does not own Halloween. That is owned by the producers and they can hire John Carpenter or they can hire someone else to make Halloween movies as you probably are well aware. And that is also true for, generally speaking, novels and music and a bunch of other mediums, although there are exceptions. Uh, so usually when you get the backing of a company to produce something creative, the company owns that thing, generally speaking. And it's also true for most comics. So when Ryan Liefeld and Fabian Isiza, uh created Deadpool for Marvel, they don't own Deadpool. Marvel owns Deadpool. That means they can do what they want with him. They can do whatever they want in comics. They can put him in movies. They can make Funko Pops. Uh, I'm sure there's a surgical instruments with Deadpool's face on them out there somewhere. He's everywhere, right? They can hire the original creators to do more Deadpool comics, or they can hire someone else, which, as you know, they do all the time. So uh, the company keeps the majority of the money that Deadpool generates. They do pay uh, something called royalties, but generally speaking, uh, they don't pay for that character once it's been owned by Marvel. Image Comics is creator-owned comics. Creator ownership in comics existed before Image, but, uh, and that was at places like Pacific or Dark Horse Comics, but Image is really the first company founded around it. It's the only company of which it is the only kind of books they put out, with some exceptions, and those are through Skybound uh, with their Hasbro line. But generally speaking, it's all creator-owned books. So, that means that Image knows nothing of the books they publish, and in fact, Image owns nothing except for the Image Eye. Uh, so that means all the money that is made off those characters, off those comics, if there's a movie, if there's uh, surgical instruments, that means those go direct, those profits go directly to the creators. So how does that work? So I will use uh, the example of the book I uh, currently have in Image Comics called Local Man. I have quite a few in Image, but Local Man is the one I'm working on right now, actually, as we speak. Uh, so how does that work? So Tony Cleese and I came up with the idea for Local Man. We were talking at a convention, uh, eating some chicken, and we came up with this idea. And so we uh, came up with a pitch for the story. We did, it took us some time, but we did five pages in total, uh, wrote them, drew them, colored them, lettered them. And we sent it to Image, and it was approved by Image publisher Eric Stevenson. So once that was accepted, Image Comics uh, has a staff of production people, amazingly talented production people, who sent us a schedule and a target solicitation date. And then after that, it's on us. So that means that Tony and I made that book from uh, beginning to end. We wrote it, we drew it, we did, we hired people to color it, we hired cover artists. Uh, we put together all the stuff in the back, all that extra stuff we threw in for you. We did all of that stuff. We turned it into Image. Image has a production crew, like I said. They look it over, they check it, uh, they pre fight it for printing, they give us a read through, and of course, we spell things wrong all the time. And then the book goes out into the stores. So, uh, once the stores, the book has uh, been has sold in the stores, uh, about three months later, the distributor cuts a check to Image Comics, and the Image Comics takes that money and they take a small fee, usually about $2,500 or so for production, the cost of the ad in the distributor, which in this case is Lunar, and then they send the rest of that money to, uh, to the creators. Uh, and so from start to finish, uh, it can take a very long time. When we started by, you know, when we started Local Man uh, and got it approved and then got a solicitation date, from the time we finished the first issue to the time we got paid for the first issue was probably nine months, which again is an investment and it's a risk on us as the creators, but it means that we own Local Man. We can uh, 
uh, license it from movie, uh, and hopefully we'll get those surgical instruments. So then the series can go on as you determine you would like to, if you would, and the sales permit, and then you can put out a trade collection of these series. Uh, and so the trade collection uh, will go through the comic book market and also the book market. And then Image will also add that as to your accruals. And so every six months in October and April, they send an accrual check for how much those books have sold over time. It includes every sale. It includes every cost, including storage, shipping, uh, all that kind of good stuff that it goes with making a physical paper product. It also includes digital sales, which would be through Amazon, Kindle, uh, or Image's own uh, digital site. So how successful can this be? Uh, it can be huge. Uh, I've had Hackslash at Image Comics for, I think, about 15 years at this point. Uh, and that means I have hundreds of issues of the book there. I have uh, six omnibus collections. I have four three, three now, three deluxe collections. Uh, and I get a check every six months uh, for Image for anything we do. We currently have the new series that Zoe Thurgood is doing uh, called Back to School. I'll get a check for that uh, this coming uh, April. And often for me, Hackslash alone is more than I make on anything else I do in comics. Uh, just those accruals over time. Now, I had to work, I had to work my ass off for 20 years to make that book and have it uh, exist in the world, but I own it. I own it with Stefano Caselli. Uh, we are the creators, and so we get to determine uh, how much we pay ourselves. We can keep stuff, go back to the company, we can put money in so that we can make more books like we did to pay Zoe uh, to make the book. But in the end, the risk was way worth it. And being that I own Hackslash with Stefano, if someone wants to make a movie, that goes through me, although that's a whole other story. But if they want action figures, I get to take care of that. If they want to make surgical instruments, which I think Hackslash branded uh, surgical instruments would be amazing, uh, all those things are determined by myself. And so that makes it absolutely worth it. And if I had done that character at Marvel or DC, I wouldn't own her, and Marvel and DC would be taking that money. So Image is a great place for uh, creators to do their books. It's extremely important because mostly they take they can take risks that marvel and dc perhaps can't uh, or won't they can do genres other than superheroes which as we know is very important uh they can take risks on creators who may not be as viable commercially uh at, at marvel and dc and a lot of the creators that you love at those companies came from image uh, so it's a great place to do comics i think it's it's a very important company uh and it, as a goal for a creator, I think it's a, a great place to uh, to go, whether you start off there or whether you uh, go back there after you've started a career somewhere else. All right, so I hope that answers lots of questions. Uh, I'm going to go spend all my Hackslash money. Uh, but thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon.